Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Titch. And we are the, the Game, Game Bros. Bros. And today we are going to be playing Tales of Symphonia. This is like a big blast from the past. It's my favorite game on the GameCube. Probably my favorite RPG of all time. Uh, give or take a few Final Fantasies here and there. But I love it. Titch has never played it before, so I figure uh, we'll play it together. Hopefully he gets a love for it like I do. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Uh, pretty much Alex has only shown me a few of the controls, like A is attack and what, X is block? Something like that. But, yeah, uh, I showed him the very basics. He knows how to move and defend himself, that's about it. Yep, and we're going to be starting a new game through this playthrough. We're also going to be leaving the uh, <clears throat> dialogue text on, that way in case we accidentally talk over top of any of the many, many um, dialogue cues or like any Cut of the and stuff yeah. that way you guys will be able to follow the story even if we're just babbling absolutely and i'm a little under the weather so if you guys hear me cough or sneeze or something uh you know sorry in advance all right let's yeah, uh, uh rip rip headphone users if he sneezes into the mic yeah we'll try we'll try and mute it or or turn the volume down or something so it doesn't blow out your drums all right well all right uh, you ready yeah let's get started all right. Change game settings. Yeah, we can do that right now. Um, sure. Uh, manual. Uh, don't need rumble. And doesn't really matter. Yes, we didn't need to do that stuff. All right. Once upon a time. There existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. Right, gi mana. Giant tree. War, however, yeah. caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. Right, the goddess so left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. Very detrimental sleep. The angels bore yeah. the chosen one, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the well, clouds are pretty nice. Of regeneration. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> it's regening the world. Mm -hmm. Lloyd Irving, wake up. <clears throat> Lloyd! What? Jeez. You know whenever you see, <laughs> like, someone sleeping in a game, they're trying How to wake up, they're usually, like, on their back or standing. something. <laughs> no, this guy's standing up holding these giant-ass buckets. Pretty sure that's the, uh, the video game equivalent of a dunce cap for this game. <laughs> Is that the video game version, or is this like a Japanese thing I don't know about? It may very well be. I'm I'm just going with that's like some sort of punishment. Genus, how about you? Yes, Rain. Mythos the hero brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. That's pronounced Carlon, just the H is silent. Oh, okay, gotcha. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martell to seal away the Desions whom caused the war. Desions are like the Nazis. But the Desions right. came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. Very Nazi-esque. We covered yeah. that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the Desions reappear, just like they have now. So if they don't regen the world... The Nazis take over is the real world equivalent. Gotcha. Today is the so day. So we of need prophecy. to seal them back up in like uh you know their seal chamber, whatever. Yeah, more or less. It is a very important day, which the chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martell. <laughs> now, chosen one, Colette. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the designs. 
Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martel, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Nothing like having the pressure Correct. of being the only I chosen one in the whole world. I suppose we expect the chosen herself to know the answer to that. Right. Friggin' <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd's back there asleep again. The the Just waiting for his arms to fall off, I guess. <laughs> that must be, like, some impressive, like grip strength to just be standing there still sleeping like just subconscious grip strength that this occurs because the designs maybe it's like whenever you're on a motorcycle or like a four-wheeler too long and like you've been gripping on the handlebar so long like it's hard for your hands to let go oh yeah i hate that <laughs> know exactly what you mean has two especially if it's one of those ones with like the thumb there. uh yeah. the thumb the gas design. lever yeah like on the quad bikes mm-hmm now, for the next question. What? What was that? That's... Settle down. It would seem that the time right, for the Oracle has come. Under your desks. Curl up in a fetal position. That's what I they taught me, at least. The chapel. Everyone stay yeah, here absolutely. Any, any like, possible threat, like, somebody sneezed the wrong way and Ebola might break out in the school, we get under your desk. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Professor! I'll go with you. No, Colette. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got control okay. Floyd now. And his long, huh? sc thin scarf thing. That doesn't tie in the back, or does it? I can't tell. I, I no can't tell idea. besides that little, like... That little, like, tuft of hair. I don't think it ties in the back, though. What happened over there? Well, I guess he doesn't know it. Well, nah, but, uh, it kind of looks like... It looks like a shape kid's of stand... Like her hair and... Yeah, <laughs> with her arms out to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's just go out. Let's just disobey the teacher more. Two anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, now you're a genius, right? So you, you gonna do the genius voice? Oh, good lord, okay. Lloyd, where mm. are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Ray will get mad. I'm already curious. I'm just really curious to find out what really happens to Colette when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the chosen of generation the day of prophecy, but no one tells us what really happens. <laughs> But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. Well, it's research. That's just an excuse. He has a little shin guards. So, an excuse <laughs> is an excuse, right? Don't be so stuffy. You're coming too, <laughs> right? We're best friends after all. Oh, we're best friends. <laughs> Hmm, much like life. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's ironic Lloyd's calling me the stuffy one when you're the one with the cold. I know, right? Colette, you wanna come along too? Huh? Um, okay. So where to? Frazzle, frazzle, frazzle. Where else? That light. <laughs> you're directly involved in all of this. Aren't you curious? Hmm. Are you curious about it? Of course. Okay, then I'll be curious about it too. See? Four and vow number four. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. Okay <laughs> then, let's go to the temple. I'm sensing a crush. Fraser Fries. Frazzle Frazzle Frazzle. Not the dwarven vows again. You always use those when you need an excuse. Yay, and we have party. a genus. Alright, now let's move everyone around so we can figure figure out a party. Uh, I don't need to know about skits. So, okay. for those of you guys watching, we're moving stuff around because the auto-zoom feature in this game is pretty trash. Basically, to be able to see all the parties on the screen uh, as well as possible, we need to have the person in the, the first player in the back be the mage, so that way it zooms way out. 
Because for whatever reason, if Floyd's in first player, then it just follows him around. Or if Lloyd's... Floyd, Lloyd, whatever. And if Colette <laughs> is the first player, then it just follows her around too. But for whatever reason, whenever Genus is first player, it zooms out so you can see pretty much the whole battlefield. Yeah, because he needs the distance to cast the spells and stuff, so it's the best thing we can get to, a, like, a full battle view camera. <laughs> so yeah. for right now, we're going to... We're gonna deal with that. I'm also going to uh, bump up the message speed a little bit. <clears throat> and right. do we want to play it on hard? Well, I've never played it before, so yeah, let's do it. Absolutely, that's let's, the spirit. We'll see how All this right. goes. And did you change Colette to be um, automatic? I believe so. Let me double check just to make sure because that would be unfortunate if she's just standing there tanking. Yep, she's auto. All right, cool. All right. What's going on? It's awful quiet. Where did everybody go? Quit! <laughs> Father! Frank! Thank goodness you're safe! Frank! What happened to everyone in the village? Did I make the message speed slower? Maybe. They're all hiding. The designs banned the village just a little while ago. Oops. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Like I'm going to put the hurt on them. They passed through the village <laughs> and headed for the temple. Why? Azalea's got a non aggressive treaty with the designs. You mean that agreement? Where they don't attack the village as long as we leave a human ranch alone? It's a human ranch. Yes. Grandmother said it was to protect me. Human ranch is where they basically farm humans for things. You, you'll learn that here in a bit. Okay. Oh! Where's Grandmother? Phaedra is in the temple preparing for the ritual. Phaedra's in the temple? But that's where the designs... I'm just losing Lloyd's voice at this point. <laughs> the priests are there with her. There's no need to worry. Now, Colette. I know. I promise to fulfill my duty as the Chosen. Good luck, Colette. Lloyd, genius. You two should go on home. I'm worried about letting Colette go by herself. I'll go with him to the temple. Me too! But, I'm alright. Thank you. I'll wait at the house. Come back immediately if anything happens. Alright. Cool. And we have free range of Azalea. Alright. Save spot... I actually think I made the message speed way slower. <laughs> Probably. Um. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. the number, the faster. Let's just make it zero so the message instantly pops up. Sounds good to me. All right. All right, you ready for the first battle? Shouldn't we save? I guess not. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Whoa, it's monster. I thought the northern regions where the temple is located was a sanctuary. Why are there... It must be part of the trials. Martell's trials involve battling monsters. We don't have time to talk. Let's get this thing. Roger. I think I like Lloyd better as a southerner. <laughs> I've kind of given Coletta Southern Bell accent in uh, in the process as well. <laughs> Ever since we heard about like the human ranch thing, like everyone's just a southerner. <laughs> Agriculture is high in these parts. Oh yeah, that was a good old fight. All right, not uh, not too shabby. Yeah, that's pretty. Do you easy. remember how to use uh? Did you use like his spells and stuff, or did you just like wasn't paying attention? I used one spell. That's uh, it's B, and I think block is S. All right. Lloyd, you're amazing. Ah oh, well, shucks. I owe it to this thing though. Oh, finally, we get to figure out why there's a band-aid over his glove. 
Oh, that's right. The X fear. Yeah, it's designed for combat and brings out my maximum strength. So basically, those X fear things, if you have them attached to you, they give you superpowers. Oh, they're like those orbs that you put in your weapons and gear in Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, pretty much. Gotcha. Only instead of putting them in a weapon, you embed them in your hand. Gotcha. But you're still strong, Lloyd. Yeah, at least his sword skills are good. What do you mean, at least? There's another one. Let's go, you two. Wait, Lloyd! The professor said magic is more effective than physical attacks against non-physical and spiritual monsters. Really? Yes. Okay, then. I'll leave the ghost to Genus. I'll go for the zombie. Oh, I guess there's a zombie in there. Alright, there's All the right. button for switching who you want to target and stuff like that. Something about the control stick? Sure, whatever. Okay, here we go. It was all stuff I already told you. Yeah, okay! I'll just learn it on the fly. Alright. Okay, right, I'm already so, on the ghost. I'm already on the zombie. Oh, that's blocked. Oh, I still get damaged if I block. You get damaged, but I think it's like you take a third of the damage that you usually would. Why did I jump? Alright. You can get up on the joystick, it jumps. Oh. Hey, we got some apple gel. Isn't that the same thing as applesauce? That's, uh. uh more or less. We uh, got some applesauce, guys. It just, instead of it just being a nice, uh, delicious treat, it, uh. It heals up wounds. It's important to choose the target wisely. Oh, cool! So you just smear applesauce in your open, open gash. Yeah, because I mean, that's uh, that's what that's what you do when you get hurt, right? I mean, I do use apple cider vinegar, but I don't, I don't know if I apply it right on the what. Whatever, <laughs> we'll just say it works. There's fl there's flying skulls in here. I don't think it matters. <laughs> nah. All right, we have to be careful. Let's go to the temple. Okay. All right, now we can save. I had to have a little risk to it, you know? Yeah. All right. All right. Hi, guys. I hope you've been enjoying our playthrough of Tales of Symphonia. If you have, feel free to click the like button. And also feel free to leave us a comment letting us know just how much you enjoyed it. And if you really liked it, Go ahead and click the subscribe button that Alex is running laps around so you can get notifications on all the new videos that we put out. Hope you enjoy!